bones of the upper limb in a super simple way. Let's begin. The upper limb has four major parts. Shoulder girdle, arm, forearm, hand. Shoulder girdle consists of clavicle and scapula, collarbone. S-shaped long bone. Medial end articulates with sternum. Lateral end articulates with a chromion of scapula. Most commonly fractured bone in the body is clavicle bone. Skin. Scapula. Shoulder blade. Triangular flat bone. Important features. Spine. A chromion. Glenoid cavity. Coracoid process. Glenoid cavity forms the shoulder joint with the humeral head. Arm bone is humerus. Humerus is the long bone of the arm. Head forms shoulder joint. Surgical neck is the common fracture site. Surgical neck fracture cause axillary nerve injury. Greater and lesser tubercles is for muscle attachments. Deltoid tuberosity for deltoid muscle. Distal end, medial and lateral epicondyles. Midshaft of humerus fracture cause radial nerve injury. Forearm bones consists of radius and ulna. Ulna, medial bone of the forearm. Proximal end has a lecranon forming the elbow prominence. Radius is the lateral bone. Proximal end has head of radius that allows rotation. Distal end articulates with the carpal bones to form the wrist joint. Collie's fracture is due to fracture of distal radius. Hand has 27 bones divided into three groups. Carpals, eight bones. Two rows consists of scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Remember by the mnemonic, she looks too pretty, try to catch her. Scaphoid fracture is very common. Metacarpals, five bones. They form the palm. Phalanges, 14 bones. Each finger has three phalanges, but the thumb has only two phalanges. Thanks for watching.